Hello everybody. I am here for a new session of this beautiful page by Hannah Carlson. So this is from the book Magical Dawn. Oh, hello Abby Curl. You've got a little kitty here. <laughs> Okay. Hello everybody. Today we're going to um like um you can see a little bit further. Camera decided or my phone, my camera decided to take a midstream thing that I just did. But anyway, let me what I'm gonna do next. So this is the page Magical Dawn. You can see I have a base layer of the background. I have a base layer of and the only thing that's finished is her eyes. So now to help give everything is going to look here next since it takes up a lot um, of people interact with this. So um, I have like a blonde colored, like a sandy color. I'm going to start in with this seven beige, picking out areas where I'm hitting it. And just picking the you know, valleys if you were, so I'm picking off and just giving them a light co color That's for how all put together. The reason I do it this way is sometimes I've done pages work and if I check how my color, then when I get to the very end pointed with the color combination in just a moment to kind of now we on and be able to adjust the contrast between her fin off darken this hair before and so this often adjust as I'm color Soft, it's going to look on, and then the sand and the pale. F I think it's going to be quite. So what I use when I'm drawing creatures, sure for inspiration for my how I pick my colors a lot. So for this one, what I was th she's a mermaid, so she's probably bottom of the ocean. Um, so but maybe yeah. So it makes sense for her to have sandy, and I imagine her to have sandy um, colored fish tail as well. That is not shown here in this pic, but I always find when I'm drawing and make, make out my my character because then it helps me to make. So in the did that she's like a sandy colored mermaid. So I'm going to be um, overall scheme and it'll be blue sand here, which I forgot is kind of back in. And there might be one thousand and one sand. So I'm just gonna go. Uh, that's sort of peeking through benefit to base colors all over everything. Is it missed? Mm hmm So now I think I actually want to darken I'm already going. Benefit to is to work all over on the you get a sense of put together and then you can better to light and bright to me. While the face is nowhere I kinda like to bring all of the face all together and not a spot. Everybody has their preferences, the wrong way to work, however, this is one best work this way. Um, I, I was taught the whole page all at once, and that was just getting them to it. So it's really fun. like background demos, and I had such an urge, but um, for this, but I find that certain spots of the page I usually are in the foreground, where the page is sort of like most very much background at all makes me feel better just right shape a little bit better um anyway working all establish my my general ideas to refine and <clears throat> finesse those things so for the darker go with that nice same highlight i need to dig in color chart here Shadowy color. The 1080. In my case, I look for it. Chance. Thing like the the bare thing like how it looks on the paper starts right. Okay. Um, and then I'm also gonna pick. Let's see what other colors. Colors another topic and I'm not too in depth today but people ask me all the time how, well I, I do have this color chart and this helps me from light to dark behave and I think nine one for the other the dark ever so I've already kind of like 
myself up, familiarize myself. So that helps a lot. But then the other way that I, um, my in dollar theory. This is something that I can video and a series on color theory. To, and that is something that I do plan a January topic. Topics are going to be. I have to wait for that for another month. Okay, so the next 1080 Vienna.
I'm pretty frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I was recording and I just recorded a whole 10 minute segment of my video and um, my phone has now eaten it. It just shut down um, as it was saving and when I rebooted my phone back up, it is gone. So um, I'm really, really sorry. I don't even know what to say. I'm so annoyed. Um, the, uh, the place where I was working in for the last 10 minutes was her hair here. Um, what I did is I used this PC 1080 beige sienna and um, I went through and just picked out certain areas where that mid-tone would be. Um, I did this, I, I like to um, work all over at first to just establish my color scheme and if I like it enough and then once I've decided the root of the drawing, um, I generally tend to then work for uh, background to foreground. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, so I'm starting up in this top upper corner and just um, with this light green, so this is PC920 light green, I'm just going and um, layering and patiently going through the task of really making this background feel like solid and finished. So at this point now too, I am taking my time and um, the first layer helps establish where there might be problems or trouble spots on the paper. So you can see here, actually let me zoom in so that you can really get a good look. So this here, you can see there's, okay, again, my phone died on me so I might need to update it or something might be going on with it so I might not get very far today with this just because of the trouble I'm having recording. And it's a shame because I would record all the time for you guys if it weren't such annoying trouble to get this stuff going. Um, it's a shame because I do love my phone but and it takes nice enough video but um, it just seems like Getting it from the phone to the YouTube and making it all work just seems like it's just having some trouble. It's okay though, I will persist. We're going to make it all work, guys. Even if I don't produce the most amazing professional videos, I'm here to help you. So we're going we're gonna to do what we can. I will do my best and that's all I can do, right? So, I'm actually going to break these up into small little clips. It's going to be a pain in the butt, maybe, but, um, that's okay. I would rather this all come through than get lost again like it did. Oh, I can't believe that. It's so annoying. Okay, so layering this color, you can see it just warms it up and brings out, like, the the, um, the greeniness, like greeniness, is that a word? Probably not. But it brings out the green that was already sort of there in the paper. Hi sweetie, we have a little Miss Abby here. She's coming to join us to color. So now I am coloring one handed. Got the other little kitty in my other arm. But little Miss Abby always wants to figure out what I'm talking about. Whenever I'm doing a video, she always has to come and check it out and see what I'm doing. She's a pretty snuggly little kitty anyway, so it's not rare for her to be on my lap anyway. So yeah, anyway, my plans for these videos, hopefully um, throughout the course of, um, I just finished shooting the first background video for this week, and I'm really excited. I already edited it. Um, it is right now processing, and now what, for whatever reason, I guess because I'm shooting in high resolution, these videos take almost 24 hours to process, which is just crazy to me. So... Um, anyway, so that's processing, so it should be maybe done sometime tomorrow. 
My last video took about 27 hours to process. So, um, I might favor live streams more if they are easier for me to handle. Um, I don't think a lot of my content needs a lot of flashy editing or anything. Um, so I'm okay to go without that stuff if you guys are okay with that too. Might make things a little bit quicker for me. But for right now, we'll work with what we've got. Um, so yeah, I have the background, the first background demo video is already done. And I already started um, prepping the pages that I'm going to do for next week. So I'm pretty excited about that series. I think it might help you guys, but um, I really want to know. So um, if it is a, at all a help or if I could do better then I'll appreciate any feedback you guys have for me on that. So, I'm just working through. I love this color that I'm making with this layer. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I am trying to take my time. So, patience is good here. At this point, um, now going forward. My first layers are kind of sloppy sometimes, just for me to kind of get a quick idea of what I want to do. But now, going forward, I try to work pretty, pretty tight and neat. Makes it a lot easier than trying to correct something later. And you can see for the background, I'm just going right through all of the bubbles. Don't need to address those quite yet. Okay, this video hasn't died yet, so I'm going to stop it here and start it up. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty frustrated with my phone today. I think it might need an update or something because it is just behaving really erratically. Like that last video took about 15 minutes to save to my phone. Um, not too pleased with that, so I might call it quits after this clip. Really sorry about that, but some days I just get frustrated with video. Um, I like the process of actually doing the videos, but sometimes the technical difficulties that I've been encountering, um, make it a frustrating experience sometimes. So, um... Just wanted to let you guys know, by the way, that I will be um, monetizing and putting ads on my videos soon. Um, I'm not trying to be greedy at all, however, um, these videos do take a lot of my time. So I figure um, instead of being frustrated with um, sort of uh, subpar materials and equipment, that um, the ads that I... The money that I make from the ads, which will probably not be very much, will go towards things like new equipment and a new um, a new computer for easier editing, things like that. So, um, yeah, the only thing that you need to do in order to help me gain ad rev revenue is just to watch the ads. You do not have to click on them. Um, so if you guys start watching my ads as you see them, uh, maybe we could get a nicer camera for these videos because, I don't know, they're just, this phone is frustrating me sometimes, just with how many times it cuts out or doesn't save. And the thing is, is I can't go back and redo it. Like, once I've colored in a spot, that's it, I can't, I can't rewind, you know, um... 
So it's a shame because we lose what I've done. And there's really nothing I can do about that. Um, really kind of annoying. But uh, that's okay. You know, it's one of those things. That's life. If everything were easy, then everybody would do it. But um, that doesn't mean that we don't persist, right? We're going to keep going. So I'm going to do this next clip, and then I'm going to call it a night for tonight, I think. Um, still hope this was somewhat useful to you. I'm sorry that the hair got completely cut out. I'm really bummed. But that's okay. I'm still excited. I'm really um, happy to work on this page with you guys. So I don't know if you've noticed, if you've looked at any of my other coloring work in the past, I have done some other mermaids. So this one I'm going to do in a slightly different color scheme than I'm used to doing. Normally I do blue or green skinned mermaids. Um, I haven't done a fair fleshy toned mermaid in a long, long time. So I thought I would give it a shot. So my inspiration for this mermaid is um, sand, actually. So she, even though she will have some fleshy tones to her skin, her hair will be sand colored. And um, I want her to have like that fresh career. Okay, so just to give you guys an overview of um, the work that I did today, oops, sorry about that, um, I fixed up um, a little bit of her skin there on the bottom of her cheek area, um, just in the overall general shading. Um, the skin is a knit by no rare finish, that's just the first layer. Um, I established my general idea for the hair color and also worked a little bit on that. And then I started refining and really um, honing the background so I got that nice aqua color up there in the background. So that is where I've left off for today. I know I didn't make a whole lot of progress, mostly just because... Um, Unfortunately, I've had so many different camera problems today, so I really, really apologize for that. However, I am going to um, shut down my phone, um, charge it up, and uh, see if maybe there's some updates that need to be had. And hopefully I can clear up these issues and come back stronger and better than ever. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief little video today, and um, catch me on the next Hannah Carlson, Magical Dawn Mermaid, in the next video. So as always, thank you so much for um, watching, subscribing, commenting, and um, you know, I, I do this for you guys, so um, I'm always really happy to hear your feedback. So thank you so much for hitting that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, magical time coloring. Bye!